Don't run your business based on emotion. Run your business based on facts. And what are the facts? Facts are numbers don't lie. The proof is in the pudding, right? You need to, number one, measure those numbers because what you don't know can in actual fact kill your business, right? Because we need to stop running our businesses ignorantly. So measure. Measure your input and measure your output. No, don't just track the known the numbers, but it's important for you to track the numbers. The second thing that I need you to do, when you get an opportunity to actually solve a customer's problem and they give you a brief, don't give them anything than more than in two options because sometimes we end up chasing the business away by giving the customer too many options. The third thing that I need you to do, understand your sales funnel. What is a sales funnel? Before a sale actually becomes a sale, it moves from being a prospect. A prospect is someone you don't know and thinking about doing business with. Then you think of approaching them. Then the moment you gain the fact that they've got interest in you, then they move from a prospect to a lead. The moment it's a lead, now it's someone that you're harvesting. You meet with them, a couple of meetings, then they say, quote, from a quote it kind of either can move into an actual customer or it can move into being um you know someone who's going to decline you either way you've sown the seed that person will never forget you track and always follow up the other thing that i need you to do is follow up and follow up consistently know your numbers man know your numbers how many customers do you need to talk to before it converts into your sale that's called a conversion rate know your numbers this week don't go into your sales blindly don't run your business blindly but know your numbers but most importantly go out there and get things done and be delivered